What's up guys, Danny with Swamp and Stomp, and uh, today I'm actually on my way to Okeechobee with my beautiful wife, and we're actually we're going over to uh, Skull Hill Archery. Um, Brandon is going to be setting up a couple bows for me to shoot, and uh, you guessed it man, I'm going to be getting a new bow. I'm actually going to replace uh, my Hoyt Carbon Spider Turbo. Uh, I'm going to go for something that's a little smoother, um, something that just I can tune in to fit me perfectly. I believe I'm a 29 inch draw, um, but I'm not entirely sure that's uh, that's what I'm sh I've been shooting. And um, I don't know, we'll see. Um, the plan is I'm gonna be blindfolded and I'm gonna shoot, I don't know, maybe five or six of his uh, flagship bows and then uh, maybe some of the lower tiers and see exactly what fits me the best and then uh, pretty much go from there. On the screen, I'll be displaying the um, speed that these bows are shooting at. I won't be looking at it either. I'm just gonna roll it on the GoPro. So um, the selection is gonna, is gonna be entirely on feel. Well, I hope I don't end up walking out of there with a uh, $3,000 bow. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a problem. Speaking of bows, um, if you guys been uh, watching some of our other videos we're actually giving away a um a bear legit it's a pretty sweet little bow man it's uh it's basically one of those types that you can grow with and pretty much max it out at 70 pounds it goes i think from like 25 to 70 i'm not sure if you really want to know the details watch this video up here and to get in on that giveaway um go down in the description you'll find the link there Alright guys, we made it out here to um, Skull Hill Archery. If you guys have never been here, it's right across from Banksy's restaurant. It's a very famous uh, restaurant here in Okeechobee. Very yummy food. As a matter of fact, we're going to be going over there right after this. We're all set up. Got the camera back over here. Um, Brandon's finishing up with a customer. And then uh, we're going to get to it. Alright, you better get your measurement. Spread your arms out. Yep. All right, you're gonna come in just like that right there. There we go. Fingertip to fingertip. And you're 73 inches. 73 inches. So at 73 inches, you're gonna divide that by 2.5. That gives you a rough estimate. So that's 29.2, which in reference would put you at 29 and a half. Okay. And you always end up fitting people roughly a half an inch over to an inch over depending on the release. So really I would put you in a 30 inch draw. All right. A lot of people have speculation on that. This is how I set people up because the last thing I need you to do is when you draw in and you anchor up that your, your, your arm is, sink, is sunk in too much. Then after the execution you want to pop open and that starts moving your accuracy points left and right. Wow. If I get it to where not fully drawn, like, like fully extended, but get to where you're fully drawn and just a little bit relaxed, when you execute the bow, the bow doesn't want to move left or right and it's nice and clean. Then. Mm -hmm. I like it. So that's the deal with that. So for right now, for the sake of doing what you're about to do, and that's test these bows, we're just going to leave them all at 29 so you can get an idea of the draw cycle, draw cycle. the back wall, everything that you're looking for like that. But when we actually get you set up on one of these, you're going to probably shoot a 30 inch more. Uh, you're going to shoot a 30 inch. So. Okay. Yep. Wow. Yep. If. Uh I don't know if I told this story before, but I had a diamond marquise blow up on me. So I kind of have this stigma towards um, Bowtech themselves. And I've heard of a lot of other Bowtechs blowing up. But if I end up pick, picking a Bowtech, if it shoots the best, then I'm gonna go to bow number two. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be doing That's that. That's great, that is great. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go with my, whatever feels the best and see what happens. So we found us a blindfold out in the parking lot. <laughs> Luckily now we know what these things are that's, for. That's right, that's what they're good for right here. Cool, cool. So you go ahead and put them on and I'll start feeding them to you, buddy. All right. If I put one in, up in the lights, you know, I'll just throw that on the We're door. good, I'll let you know. 
All right. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm nervous. <laughs> All right. Nope. We're good. There you go. There's that. All right. Show you where the D loop is. Right there. Go and clip it. There we go. All right. All right, brother. First runner up. Do your thing. All right. Come to your right. To your right some more. To your right. Yep. And lower. There you go. I have to bring the mask up a little bit. All right, go ahead and shoot it and we'll do that. Okay. All right. Take the bow. Definitely. Uh, there you go. On the bottom and pinch it so you're there you, go. you could feel your nostrils. I'll hide the bow. <laughs> I like the, the, the draw cycle on that one. Mm -hmm. It actually, it felt the same throughout. And then pretty much, um, I mean, without a riser or anything, I mean, like, when I did shoot, it felt like I wanted to jump forward. But that okay. back wall was definitely solid. Gotcha. You want to do that one one more time? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Again. Let's go round two for bow number one. Yep. Bow number one. Here we go. There's that. Hook you into that D loop right there. Go ahead. There you go. Perfect. All right. All right. A little, little bit of a lump there at the mm -hmm. end. Okay, aim a little lower and to the left. That fit is nice yeah. though, man. I like how it just goes right to the tip of my nose. Mm hmm There it is. Man, that thing <laughs> seems like a scream. Oh, it gets it. <laughs> it. It hits it. All right, so that was bow number I mean, one. Mostly a, a smooth dry cycle, uh, draw cycle, but right, at, right before you get to the, uh, the back wall, it seems like you have a little bit of a hump there. Definitely nothing like my uh, my turbo though. <laughs> and four. All right, bow number two. Show that one off. Up there. Okay. This feels so weird. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Here I am. There's the bow. There's the grip. Get you on the D loop here. Okay. Clip it forward. There we go. And this is pretty much how I shoot all my deer. I just kind of close my eyes. <laughs> Wing <and> it. <laughs> I know my wife is somewhere over there. So yeah, I'll make sure, sure you don't shoot her. <laughs> oh, uh huh. <laughs> a little something there at the end. All right, aim just a little lower. Right about there. And there you go. All right, that one's definitely. Uh, Less less jump, but I had a little right at the end. It felt like mm -hmm. I wanted to go forward a little bit. Let's try that one more time. I'll try it again because now you'll know what the draw cycle feels like. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot my job. I'm up a little it. bit. Up a little bit. Hang on. There you are. There you go. All right. Perfect. Okay. There it is. Yep. Settles right in. Okay. A little lower. There you go. That back wall is definitely solid. Mm-hmm. I've got no give on this thing. Mm-mm. I'm digging it. Cool. I kind of like that one more than the other. All for right. Number one. Okay. All right. Here is bow number three. We're going to show it off to the camera a little bit, get an idea what we're working with. All right, pull this arrow out. So it's, it's like killing me to say, quit, keep silent. You know, there's so many things I want to say about these rigs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Little, right. There we go, push it in tight. There we go, perfect. There it is. Oh, that one's actually stiff from the beginning all the way through. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Am I aiming right? You're good. Yep. Right there. Back wall is definitely solid. Seems like all of them have real solid back oh, wall. Oh yeah. No cushioning there. This thing was pretty, uh, pretty chill through the shot. Okay. Try it again. Oh, 
Hold on. Um, okay. There you go. So this, this bow seems a lot lighter than the other two. Either that or I'm just getting stronger. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. It's a 70 pounder. No, I'm talking about the weight oh, of the, the bow weight itself. Of it? Gotcha. Yeah, it feels actually pretty, pretty lightweight. And it's a, the draw cycle is actually not bad, man. There's no humps in it at all. Right. Oh yeah, am I good? You're good. Muscle memory's kicking in. There you go. Right. It's bow number three. Kind of like bow number two over that one. Yeah? Okay. This is bow number four. Show it off a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. There's your grip. Alright. There's your D loop. Go ahead. There it is. To your right. Oh, there you go. You good. Jeez. Yeah, this thing was like, <laughs> I felt no vibration at all. You said that doesn't matter, but it is nice feeling. Oh, yeah. Zero vibration at the oh, end of yeah. the shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like watching you try. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> all righty. Feels like, I don't know, like this one feels a little gritty th almost. Okay. As you're drawing to up. To your left. There you go. Safe there. Mm hmm. I, I, I don't really like how it lines up to my face. Okay. You know, the other ones felt like they landed a little better. Obviously, we have to. Did that feel adjust. like it was a little longer? Because right now, that would be the only one that's at 30 inches. Everything else has been 29. Really? Yep. It might be that I'm comfortable shooting 29s. I've been shooting it for so long. I got you. I got you. But, I mean, it, it was touching my nose still, mm -hmm. but it was like barely, you know. Gotcha. Okay. Where the other ones were like. Well, that would mean that it would be a little short then. So it might be just run a little short on you. Huh. All right. That was bow number four. Number four. Here's number five. Which one did I say I like? Are you keeping track of this? You like the second one. The number yep. two, right? Number two. So this is number five here. Okay. All right. There you go. There we are. Well, that's pretty lightweight. Yep. It's got a. It's a unique system here. Oh, a little different. Mm -hmm. Okay, to your left a little. Left. Oh, the other there left. you go. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Over there. <laughs> Clear to shoot. That's it. This one feels a little short. Yep. Every bow ends up feeling a little different from what they measure 29. So there's some bows 29 inches that are like if you base it off one model. Yeah. One one will be shorter feeling than the other, so that's the reason why you should always have it custom fit by your whoever you get your bow from, to kind of fit you, not by go by just a just the a spec. Uh, spec. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The draw cycles, pretty solid all the way through. Clear okay, left, there. Left a little. There you go. Oh, left. Right. Yep. There you go. Back wall is solid as hell. Mm-hmm. Heck. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. All right. That's bow number five. Can I try bow number two again? Yes. We'll try bow number two again. So far, I think I'm in between two. And even number one was was a nice, nice little feel to it. Two and one. Oh, okay. Where am I at? <laughs> I heard something over here. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here you go. Bow number two. Bow number two. There you go. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get it once. <laughs> Am I clear there? Yes. That draw cycle, man, I kind of... It's, it's very familiar to, to my Hoyt, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like, it's something I'm, I'm getting away from, but I'm just com I got comfortable shooting it. But that draw cycle seems very similar, but a little less right. aggressive. Uh, aggressive, yeah. But, it, you know, it's got a very similar feeling. Okay. I like it's, it's lightweight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, there's almost like a, instead of hump at the end, it's almost like a light spot there at the end mm -hmm. before you come off, before you get into that. To your left, son. There we go. I'm liking this one, man. Okay, so liking number two. Is there another one you want to try before you call this one done? <sighs> I don't remember number one. Okay, we'll try number one. I don't remember what that one felt like. So far, I'm liking number two. Don't let it be a bow tech. Don't let it be a bow tech. <laughs> All right, here is that. This is number one. Take one step back for me. Oh, this way? No, that way. There we go. Perfect. All right. I figured it was back and forward <laughs> when I'm blindfolded for too long. You're good. There we go. All right. Where are we at? Am I, am I pointing the right way? Since you moved me, I'm like... You're good. <laughs> my compass is off. There we go. Perfect. All right. Yep. Oh, that's why I didn't like it. <laughs> Had a little bit of hump in the back. Yep. Yep. Am I, am I, am yeah, I you're good to go. Yeah, that's why I, I wrote off number one at first. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. So okay. far, I'm liking number two, man. Number two? Number two. What? All I'm right. Take off the blindfolds. Take off the blindfold. You chose... The PSE EVL 32, <laughs> which is literally the, Dude, the, the one you were I saying. Told you, it's the best selling bow that I've had. PSEs have been knocked out of the park with this with this Evolve cam. Um, little little bit of talk about it. Yeah, it's 32 inches axle axle. It shoots 344 feet per second. Um, I think the brace height on I can't keep remembering. It's six it's six and a quarter inch brace height. Um, but the the Evolve cam is where these bows excel. Being that they're binary cam, top and bottom match each other, it's got a real circular design, so it's very smooth, and that light spot that you're feeling is it coming off the peak. So it's not, it doesn't come up to a hump, it just stays status quo and then ends nice and clean That's, on the yeah, back end. It seems like right at the air at the end, it's just like, boom, right there. Yeah, man. But what's the cool part is, and what I didn't want to say in the video, because I wanted you to have, you know, a true, genuine perspective of it before I got talking about it, is I want you to draw it back now. Okay. And I want you to be at full draw. I really I like want how the to... riser feels too, man. I mean, it just feels mm -hmm. real nice in my palm. Yep. I took the grip off because some people, the grip, the whole reason why they put the grip on there was for people that shoot in like cold weather. They just don't yeah. want to hold the riser, but they machine that riser. I mean, phenomenally. Yeah. Well, so we just rip the grip off of there and just shoot straight to the riser. I don't got to worry about it here in Florida at all. Exactly. That now is this is nice. the part that I want you to watch. Try to let down. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> so you can let down it once you find it where it's at. Yeah. But the key thing is, for instance, you draw back on a deer, you he gets behind some there. brush, that wow. bow is not going to make you fatigued. You could sit there and wait for that animal to present itself and still make a very clean execution and it not fatigue you trying to jump out of your hand. That is crazy. Let me do so, that again. Yeah. What is this, uh, 85 or 90%? This is 90%. And once you have the ability to change it off of these little pegs right here, top and bottom, you can move it to 85 or 80, depending on how you want the feel. So basically, you're moving the string stop to adjust the... Yeah, exactly. Wow. Which is pretty cool in the way that they designed this cam. I mean, this cam's got a lot of good things going for it. That's cool. But you can make that let off however you want that, hold, that, that holding weight. Yeah. So if you want like nothing, you go to pure 90. If you want a little bit, you go to 85. If you want a little bit more, you go to 80. Huh. Then they even have a whole other set of mods that you can put on there and give you like 75, 70, or 60, depending on how much holding weight you really want. So, I mean, it's a full customized system, which That's I really wild. do. Mm hmm Okay, let me try this one more time, man. This is this is a fun boat to shoot, oh, yeah. man. I like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it sits perfect. I wonder if I could shoot this with my glasses. Probably could. I, 
if it's perfectly on my nose. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be able to shoot this with my glasses. I can actually, my nose bridge isn't really too much in the picture. Yeah. What's the draw length on this thing? Right now it's at 29. But I would set you at, like I said, 29 yeah, and a half, 30, 30, somewhere in there. Yeah, I mean, if you look, my elbow is. So aim at the 20 yard bag back there. Just yeah. aim up, posture up. But see how far away the string is from your nose here? Yeah. Okay, you'd have to lean huh. down some. Yep. And you've got a little bit going here and your elbow is in here. What I would want to do is get this elbow back straight, this arm a little bit straighter. So we're going to be dancing around 29 and a half to 30 inches for sure. Okay, and bring it down. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to shoot it this time. So. The winner's the EVL32. <laughs> awesome. It's like my pink slip. There you go. It's a cool That's looking rig. Wild. Yep, works great. I have, I keep, every time they come in, they sell. I cannot yeah. keep them on the shelf. I personally run a 34. I got an 80 pound EVL34, and I just shot, they're telling you before, I shot the R100, yeah. and uh, shot the highest overall for men's hunter. That's so, awesome. and I've only had it two weeks, you know? Well, I mean, it, so, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah, man. I mean, that's, that's insane. Yep. yep. Um, I mean, it's it just it sits nice in your hand. The draw cycle is really nice, and when it when you release it, man, it's like nothing's zooming. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. It's it moving. gets it. It gets it. Yep, they knocked it out of the park there. That's insane. That's cool. That 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 whole ninety percent light off. I've never I've never shot anything even close to that. Right. I mean, so uh, the goods and bads of ninety percent light off. Okay, and I, and we'll go about that. 90% lot off is great. It is so amazing on the feel and stuff. But yeah. if you start shooting like 60, 70 yards and you notice that your pattern is a little wide, you can take it to 85, still have that real nice draw cycle, that real solid back wall, and even that good let off, mm -hmm. but it has you a little bit of holding weight to kind of keep you from doing a lot of right. shimmy. Just like shooting an extremely light bow. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't have that weight to hold on, you can tend to float exactly. quite a bit. So being that it has that ability, some people can shoot a 90 and they never move and they're just drilling it. Right. They can stay that way but this bow gives you the ability yeah. to make you know help you become better still giving you that awesome draw sock on that back wall yeah. you know so so whenever you do move that um, that let off is there anything that you would have to retune or anything like that as long as you got both uh, top and bottom cam timed evenly they move the same amount of space evenly so there won't be any additional you can if you like say you get it tuned for me and everything, everything's set and timed, you can go home and play with how you want it to feel without jeopardizing anything via the tune. Awesome. Yep. Uh, I'm yep. digging it. So. Well, there you have it, guys. <laughs> New owner of a PSC Evo 32. That's it. So we ended up having a unexpected visitor. Uh, one of the uh, mounts jumped off the wall and he's over here running around. Oh, is he peeing? Looks like the uh, taxidermy work was <laughs> top notch. Things actually came to life. I'm going to see if we can uh, catch him a little bit later because he's just running loose. Yeah, I mean, like five, six, you know. It was kind of interesting. I, um, when I purchased this bow, I went ahead and I put a ultra rest on it as well. And it says Hoyt on it. It's a Hoyt Archer Ultra Rest. Um, actually, not all, yeah, Ultra and uh, the QAD. Mm -hmm. And now in the PSE, it's also getting a QAD Ultra. Yep. With the PSE logo on it. It's got the PSE logo. <laughs> Seems like. Uh, these brands just kind of go around and put their logo on everybody else's stuff. The cool thing about this rest though is that the integrate rest hooks onto a dovetail of the PSC. The PSC is actually machined. The back side of the riser has a dovetail platform on it. So now this puppy is going to sit right back here clamped on to the dovetail. So like I said, when you get in the woods and have an accident with your bow or whatever, you can't you can't hit it off, you know, with the ones that used to mount here with the screw, hit off and it may rotate or whatever. This here is clamping on. I mean, you can't beat this off with a hammer. <laughs> so it gives you that reliability in the woods. So have you, have you talked about your arrow setup yet? No, I haven't mentioned it yet. Cool. Well, I'll talk a little bit about it because I'm, I'm kind of favored to a micro diameter shaft for hunting. What's cool about this is that your inserts are a 5 16 Yep. So your arrow then tapers down to this micro diameter. Um, so what happens, you punch the hole 
with the the front of the arrow obviously That's and right. it stays open for a time for a period of time before it starts sinking back in which then aids in that penetration so a lot of people are like man you know i need more weight i need i need a stronger bow or this that no man the technology now with these arrows you can get in a micro dammer shaft and not have to change your bow to get better penetration and something that i have found with these arrows is they will blow through almost any target you have <laughs> uh, th that's actually become a really big problem for me because um, with my regular, um, what, what, how many millimeters are the standard size? The 5.16? The, the 5.16 arrows. Mm -hmm. um, with those, you can pretty much use any target. Any of those foam targets will work out very well. Right. But I had a buddy of mine come over with a brand new foam target and he's shooting a, um, a Matthews Monster. He's a, he's a big dude, Danny, he's like 6'3". So he's, he has a, a, about a 31 inch draw length. And he, these things are like pretty much bullets. And his arrows were sticking mostly out of the foam. Meanwhile, you know, I'm shooting a 20, 29 inch draw at 70 pounds and my arrows are going to the fletching on a brand new foam thing, a foam target. So that's uh, one of the drawbacks, but it's a drawback that I'd like to have. <laughs> you know, Trust penetration me. is usually you not something they're going to complain about. Right. You don't want to. You don't want to be changing your whole rig so you can shoot better in the backyard. <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> exactly. So that was the only thing that uh, that was a little tricky about it. Um, yeah. I pretty much would just like start getting like boxes and fill them with old T-shirts and stuff, and I'd shoot those, and it wouldn't yep. go through that. Yep. For sure. So being that my uh, Hoyt has a bad bearing, I was a little bit concerned about um, shooting it that way. And you know, we have this um, Florida Expo coming up. It's actually coming up this following weekend. It's April 23rd to the 25th. And um, Brandon Skull Archery is actually gonna be hosting the 3D tournament there. So that's gonna be really cool. Um, now I get to actually go become part of that, that whole tournament with my new bow. Um, so this whole following next week, I'm going to have to really drill, throw some arrows down range and get really comfortable with it. So I don't put one across the, uh, the little pond there that's, uh, into the parking lot. No fun. <laughs> so that shouldn't be an issue. I like to think that, uh, my days of losing arrows are well behind me. the uh, whole process of getting your new bow all set up. Um, we got the rest on here, put my, my sight on there, went ahead and did the paper tuning, and uh, now we got the feet tied in, and I'm ready to go uh, slam some bags. Yeah, side in. <laughs> <laughs> Good Good deal. Deal. Man. Cool, awesome, put them on. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, I definitely had fun making it. Um, that's kind of what you can expect if you go to a professional bow shop and you purchase a new bow. Definitely, there's a lot that goes into it, getting the bow fit to you and paper tuning it and doing the whole the whole nine yards. Um, it was a really great experience and I'm glad I was able to get it all on film. If you guys want to check them out, I'll drop all this information down in the description and uh, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. If you have any questions about any of the bows or anything that we did here, um, drop it down, drop your questions down in the comments. All right, guys, take care and good luck on the giveaway.